Nobody plays <laughs> with friends. Hey, I'm a man. I'm a man. Hey, I'm a man. 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 i am a man 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 i am a <laughs> that's how the song ends. <laughs> oh, oh look at him. Oh, I hate him. It's Android. Rocker sat down. He said, wait, Android 16? Yeah. 13? Mm -hmm. One? Mm -hmm. do, do you know which is which? Nope. Okay. <laughs> which I haven't one? seen it in a while. I don't remember which one's 17 He's and which 16. one's 18. Oh, no, no, no. 17 is the, is the guy and 18 is the girl. 18 is the girl. Because I can remember 18's name, I can't remember 17. 18. Oh no, he's Android 16. 17 is the fucking big green man. I thought 16's the big green man. You're I right. <laughs> he's dead. I've defeated him, everybody. <laughs> Do you remember the 18's? No. No. They were an ABBA cover Hey, band. Dragon Ball fan who just <laughs> got really angry, calm down. It's not that big of a deal. Yes, he's it gonna, is. He's gonna go Super Saiyan. <laughs> I you did it. I was playing. That's the noise he made. I was playing VR chat, and uh, I went into the into the the great pug, you know, the the bar in the game, and there was a guy uh, doing Goku. He he had Goku skin, and he had a really good mic, and he was doing the perfect Goku impression, and it really felt like I was talking to Goku. It was Aww. fucking really weird. Did you, what, did you feel embarrassed? No, like I, I, I thought he was using a soundboard because his microphone was so good, and it was such a spot on impression. I went in and he's like, hello, sir, how are you doing today? And I was like, uh, good. And then he was like, well, you can take a seat right over there. I'm like, wait, I thought that was a soundboard. And he was like, no, I'm me. And I was like, what the fuck? But it was like the weirdest, like, it, it really, fu I'm, I'm just, I felt like a kid, like, talking to Goku. It was the weirdest thing. I'm just imagining you, like, shutting down. <laughs> what, what do I say? I've, I've never run into a situation where I'm like, that could really be him. Like, that could actually be the voice actor. I'm talking to the SpongeBob. It was spot on. That wasn't the real Goku, I'm sorry to say. It might have been. How do you know? I don't know. What? I don't know anything. What makes you feel like it's the real Goku? Because... But Goku's gotta be real somewhere. <laughs> Especially on the VR chat. out there in the multiverse. How can such a likable character not be real? You know? <laughs> if someone came up with him, they must have <clears throat> met him. Oh, Magikarp is my name. Killing myself is my game. Oh. I, I would hate to find out <laughs> Goku's real. Why? That's the last character I want to know is real. Why? People that yeah, strong existing? Why? Something bad's gonna happen. It's he he saves the Earth like four, 14 also, times. Also, bad people come to the Earth to kill their, uh, everybody kill here. Their, kill to their kill their all body. the people <laughs> down <laughs> on the Earth. They're gonna kill the people. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming down to kill us because of the Goku. What would be the funniest way to stop a baby from crying? Um, by crying. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, you pressure him, <laughs> pressure him socially. <laughs> Everybody starts giving him dirty looks. Did I ever tell you guys about the time when my we were having a party at my house in Ireland and all of my family was there, like all my little cousins and stuff when they were really small children and my dad got really drunk and he was grabbing balloons and giving it to them and then popping them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. He was popping them in their face. That's evil. It was, no, he was really drunk. It was funny. It was really <laughs> that makes funny. It okay. Well, I guess it's turned around. <laughs> it was when you explain funniest. that to the kids, I'm sure they were laughing. <laughs> no, but you don't know my dad. <laughs> it's okay. He's drunk. It's funny because my dad is like the it's nicest. It's actually a really funny story. <laughs> my you dad. see, he's intoxicated. <laughs> My dad is the nicest, sweetest, like, shyest, like, guy ever. He's such a good guy, and he was just doing that. It's the funniest shit. Did he punch out a guy on a ride because he got scared of him? Yeah, it was on the Van Helsing. <laughs> and a little midget ran up to him, and my dad got scared and slapped him. Slapped him? My dad's a good guy! <laughs> you're painting my dad like he's a bad He's like the, the you greatest You just told guy. the story. I didn't even come know, up with that one. I don't believe he's a good guy if he's willing to dress up as Bart Simpson for his son. Yeah. You know what? He was vanquishing he the evil monsters. He didn't fucking do that. You I made know. That, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, this all happened. Julian, your acting's getting too good. <laughs>
<laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> that did happen though, where I, he was like, "I'll take you to see the Simpsons." You shut up. Yeah, and he dressed up like the Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Yeah, <laughs> he, he did edited, a whole routine. He like edited he to, a short film. He had together. to run out of the room. To it was change. like the Nutty Professor. He had to play every <laughs> Simpsons family member. <laughs> that would be cool. You know what's fucking weird? Uh huh. Recently, I forgot certain animals even existed. Like, like I, seahorses. I, like I saw a seahorse for the first time recently, and I was like, "What the fuck? I haven't thought <laughs> what of, is that thing? I really hadn't thought about seahorses since I was like eight. Like they they don't seem like they should be something that exists." What do you, uh, what would you say is an animal that, uh, shocks you that it exists? Oh boy. Um... Like an electric eel, you mean? I yeah, mean, th like that too. Like, when I was younger, I saw an electric eel in Baywatch, and I was like, That is a cool idea. An <laughs> eel made of electricity. And then you send a letter to Baywatch and say, can I have one of those? <laughs> and they sent him one. <laughs> but that, that's a thing that should not fucking exist. That's true. Why not? Because it's a fucking electric animal. So? It kills people. Sonichi's electric uh, hedgehog Pokemon. That was the fucking ramblings of a oh sick man. <laughs> well, who says nature's not sick? I guess you're right. Think about that. I'm trying to think of other animals that are scary. All the jellyfish are pretty. They All stress the, me out. Yeah, mm -hmm. jellyfish kind of freak me out. Squids and octopus are actually really weird too. What do you think of all the deep sea creatures? Um, the ones that live in the abyss. Like the angler fish and shit. Mm-hmm. They're kind of cool. What do you think of sea slugs? Um, they're disgusting. They're gross, but I think they're cool. <laughs> That's how I feel about most <laughs> slimy and or crawly things. I think they're cool, but I don't want to touch them. What about sea hamburgers? Like, starfish is another thing where I'm like, that shouldn't be. What are you? <laughs> it is a weird... Creature, isn't yeah. it? That it's just a bunch of little fingers. Yeah, little finger. And it fish. turns inside out. To That's what they should have called it, the finger fish. <laughs> but Chris, it's shaped like a star. Is it? I've never seen a star that looks like that. <laughs> Stars are spheres, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually the lens flare that looks like a star. They're giant pools of gas millions of miles away. Really? I thought they looked like dead my dad. <laughs> dead <to> my dad. <laughs> Wait, you do remember the that Lion was King. Not a, that was not a good Pumba, by the way. They look like millions of millions of stars! <laughs> 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 they, they look... No, I like your script. <laughs> they look like mil... I can't do it. Trillions of billions! <laughs> <laughs> it's... Chris, it's getting further off. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> just every oh, passing right. moment. Keep talking as Pumba. Just misremember lines from the movie. Uh, I forget all the lines that he said. Exactly! <laughs> uh, Go off uh, your he, vague memory. They call me Mr. Pig. Oh, yeah. He's a big pig. Are you, are you dying be a big pig to too. me? Now! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you tired of me? Is that what he, he said? He says that. He goes, are you talking to me? Oh, you talking? He does say that. And we were trying to, like, we were like, is that a reference? What is that a reference to? They call me Mr. Yeah, Pig. You're Mr. Pig. What is uh, that? It's Mr. Tibbs. Mr. F I don't know. Dun, dun, it's Mr. Spit. Spit. It's I do know Mr. that it is a reference, but I don't know, I don't remember what to. Do the first note of the movie. Uh. Nope. Wrong. Really? Ha! Like that. I guess you did. You did uh, communicate the grandeur, the grand <laughs> scale of it in a bit. <laughs> I know that one. I can remember uh, notes when, when like perfectly when I think of the song, but not on a whim. Okay, give me the opening note to the Simpsons theme song. Oh, that's like a harp appreggio. Okay, do that's it. That's a tough one. Now do it. <laughs> Simpsons. <laughs> I just said the opening note. In fact, you don't need to do this. No, the opening note. Like just the first note. Just the first note. <laughs> um, Thank you for letting us go that long. It goes. That was the original version. My grinning didn't like that one too much. Because they sounded very stupid and silly in it. It originally said, Matt Grinning. 
And then it zooms into his head. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> through his beard and through his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Shows little nets walking I around. I thought you said it zooms in through his window. <laughs> like, like they, <laughs> they filmed him one day. I like that better. Than it's, <laughs> and they play it back somebody, to him. Somebody's stalking him. <laughs> he's sitting there. When did you film this? Yeah, he's sitting there in dailies. He's sitting there in dailies and he was like, I don't remember anybody being there. I'm just thinking of like... An evil dead camera following him around, <laughs> knocking shit over while it plays the music. <laughs> it would because it's very, it's very like wild and chaotic. Yeah. Music. <laughs> and he's just screaming and running away. <laughs> Poor Matt Groening. Who's this beautiful little bitch? This is Carlisa. She said, "I'm told I'm good for a kid." Oh. She's throwing an energy She's ball at you. She's got two starfishes on her arm. Aww. That's Piggy. Piggy. I like Piggy's uh, sprite. I do too. I like it when it's just a bird. Yep. You can say that again, little man. I like it when it's just a bird. Yep. I'm glad you said that again. Isn't that the best gag, though? Yep. Because it's it's the thing you told me to do, and then I did it. <sighs> if you're going to insult our audience, then do it is to that, their face. Is that insulting the audience? You just called them a name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I didn't even think of the audience there. I'm kidding. It's a cold age week. Aw. See that? That's <sighs> Meow Cow. He's pretty cute looking. Prepare for trouble. And make a double. He doesn't say those! He does. He does all three voices. No! To he... protect the world from Mevastation. Mevastation isn't a word either, Chris. Yeah, people with sabotation. Oh my god, this is ridiculous, to guys. The evils of Big Big Bull. The amount of misinformation. The amount of misinformation coming Jesse. from this episode. <laughs> Team Rocket likes to do a fight. <laughs> Meow. Likes to do the fight. <laughs> he says that Team Rocket says they like to do the fight. <laughs> I'll have you know that's not what they say. That's not how it Meow, goes. And when right. I watch Meow, the cartoon, that's right. I take that part Meow. seriously. That's right. And I do it along with the characters. Meow. Meowza! <laughs> Meowza! This guy's a loser! <laughs> hey -oh. oh my god, look at that back sprite! Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> what is this tiny... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is that? Are That's you a tiny little forest sprite. I love him. Why did his coin shapeshift into... This is weird. It's a very odd sprite. <laughs> it's like a little chipmunk monkey trying to look like him. Meow, PSN? Oh my gosh. Wait, PlayStation Network! <laughs> <laughs> His final words. <laughs> Pikachu, I'll kill you! <laughs> it sounds like he killed himself. Yeah, he, you, <laughs> it sounds like he didn't make it. Yeah. I like this Pikachu. Oh. I like that sprite too. Oh, Chris, I too just remembered something I should have said earlier. Whoa. We were talking about... We were talking about your Amish men that you put on the border. Yeah. And I noticed that... The the I, I I was staring at it the entire last recording session, and then I finally said it that the the hat on the tall one it could just slip right over his weird <laughs> it's really head nudules. It's annoying to look at. Well, it's like want to push it down. It's on like that. a Lego piece. But then the yeah. other one it could also perfectly fit. It could, and it's just slightly off centered in a way that you can't push it down on him. <laughs> yep, that's really annoying. It's not satisfying to look at. You, you've crafted horrible beings, Chris. <laughs> it's true, they get more and more malicious every time we talk about them. Yeah, uh, I hope they don't curse the game further. Oh my god, who are these two? Ah, oh! The curse is real! Do you want to Pokemon with me? What does that mean? Do you want mean? to Pokemon with me? And then we're gonna I want a Pokemon with her. Oh, is that what she looked like? Beauty. That's a lot different than her overworld spray. I love her. She's my beautiful princess. Meow, that's her. <laughs> I'm sorry, Meow. You defeated Beauty. I wish Meowth was the only one of Team Rocket and that didn't have the others. I find Meowth much more likable. <laughs> well, she just admitted uh, you don't she like doesn't James? know anything about Pokemon. Uh, I mean, I feel sympathetic towards him, but I don't I really... I think James is literally one of the funniest po er, characters of all time. I know everybody else agrees. Like everybody really likes him. I'm not. It's not even like. It's like not even an animosity. I'm just kind of like eh, mm. these guys annoy me because I've seen them. Uh. -huh. It's you know why it is. It's because they would always interrupt the episode right in the middle of 
like story things, uh, and then it would just be like, okay, well, we got to deal with this now. <laughs> yeah. That's before true. we get to like this, the scientist who wants to experiment on dittos. Did keep... they ever become the good guys? Because they clearly weren't bad. I'm pretty sure they did, and they were given like sympathetic I backstories think they did, and everything. There. I love James, and I like Jesse. They were letting Jesse succeed for a while. I remember were they're. They? I remember that she competes in like one of the tournaments. She deserves it because she she was always wanting to win things and then she never got to win. She was also the most beautiful goddess I've ever seen. Would you let her? I hair like her hair. Hit you in the face? Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely a very dangerous area. This is what I feel like when I'm walking around fences. I Can you relate? Sound. <laughs> Welcome to my to blog. Go, follow my rainbow. Welcome to my blog, Little Gamer Moments. Can you all relate to that feeling when Pidgey is sent out at level 26 and your Ivysaur is weak? That face when? Yeah. Do people still say that? Uh, Probably not. They say you're fuck when now. I assume that if I were to talk to a young person right now, I, they would just sound like gibberish to me. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like looking at the Pokemon sprites and trying to see them in a different way. Then what way are you trying to see him? Like that Pidgey sprite that was there, his little eyeball. Like trying to interpret it as a, a thing yeah. that it isn't. Sometimes it's really easy, but other times it's really hard. Like uh, that Pidgey one's eye could have been his little mouth. You're going to warp I see your mind. his face. I see his face tilted, and he's going like, ah, like he's he's opening his mouth really wide. Yeah. I don't think we'll get to see him again though, so I can't point it out to you. This one always looked weird. This man. one, he looks like he's blowing a kiss at you. He's got little bedroom eyes. Blowing a kiss at you. Firo. A Firo. Let's oh. see what he looks like. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what they should have done to make him st stand out a little better is make the black of his of his wing. A lighter color. They could try not using this drawing. They could use to make the back outline, the back wing brighter. Uh oh. Am I done for? <laughs> they could try no, I'm just not. not doing it. <laughs> they they could try finish this drawing maybe. They could have used my little Amish guy to the right. That's true. <laughs> you could have been Firo. They could have. <laughs> I inflict fear. They could have drawn another bird, just any bird. If I was making a Pokemon parody. Mm -hmm. I would make a bird, call it Bird Turd. And it'd be a bird that looks like a turd. Mm -hmm. And it'd be my Pokemon that people laugh at online. <laughs> online specifically. See, it worked. And he evolves into Birdie Odo. <laughs> Birdie Turd 2. The turdy. Bur Birdie Turd 2. <laughs> <laughs> Birdie Turd 2. <laughs> Birdie Turd 2. <laughs> I love that. What are his powers? What are his pokey powers? He shits out of every hole on his body. Oh my god, that's very unpleasant. Especially his toenails. Mm. Aw, a little bird on him. Oh, no, no, no. Bulbasaur is great. That's Ivysaur! I wonder if I'm gonna oh. be able to make it all the way to the end of this without having to heal. Can't, what, what, do you not have potions or anything, Julian? I think I've got one potion. Well, once you you're, freaking You know what? You're it. right. I should actually be stocking up, shouldn't I? <laughs> Sorry that I yawned. It's not like I'm bored. It's, it's okay. okay. I'm it's yawning. Okay. I'm, yawning. You know? I'm yawning. I'm yawning. We're all three of us sleepy. Also, what time? It's like probably like only one. That's <coughs> one. Oh, it's JK Rowling. Where? JK Rowling. At the door. She does that now. Rowling on the floor. If she came to your door, and she read you a story, and she told you that's what she was now doing, is she's going door to door telling tales, Yeah. would you feel like that was a good career move? I'd say, don't you have better things to do? Oh shit. Crazy oh, old coot. If she breaks into tears. Oh, it's a mistake too. I'd be like, I don't feel bad for you. <laughs> wow. Chris. What? <laughs> she's crying. I'd be like, you're a shitty person. <laughs> You just keep laying it on. <laughs> this, is, this is the kick up the ass she needs. She's gone cuckoo. And she goes, Whoa, Chris, you're really laying into me. She, she's a fucking dope. She she wrote that new uh, movie. What do you call it? Uh, Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, that shit. Fantastic Meats. Yeah, and then she made it so that Voldemort Snake is now... He used to be a woman. Voldemort Snake is previously a woman. 
That's a new thing, and then people are like, this makes no fucking sense, J.K. Rowling. And she's like, I planned this 25 years ago. You think she really did? No! Of course okay. not! Okay. Of course fucking not, well, stupid! Now, now she's in front of your doorstep and you're kicking her and screaming at her about the snake. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do now? Uh, <laughs> what, do you, say, I hope, what do you do? I hope you, you can understand how frustrated I am with how silly you've been acting. She's bleeding out of her ears, so it's very <laughs> difficult to make out what you're saying. <laughs> I, I go I go into my room and I draw a picture of the snake and I say this means a lot to me. I want you to kiss. I am but a muggle. Him. I want her to kiss the picture I turn out, and then I'll I'll make sure she's wearing lots of lipstick. So she, she tries to so mouth. Yeah, she tries to mouth marks. the word ambulance. <laughs> I say, um, you want some lint? And I pick belly button lint. She out shakes of me. her head. <laughs> I say, oh, that's a yes in England, isn't it? <laughs> She rolls her oh, eyes at you. Oh, we she were rolls her eyes in the back of her head, I say. I pull her eyes out. I just said she rolled her eyes, I just said back <laughs> into her head. <laughs> well, her eyes are pulled out now. That, that was an overreaction. I rip out pages from Harry Potter and stuff it into her eyes so she remembers better. Oh, very, very clever. There you go. Unfortunately, that's not how things work <laughs> in real life, so that doesn't happen. <laughs> None of this happens. If, if, in fact, she just screams in more agony, Chris. I use the wand I got at Universal Studios and poke the pages further into her skull. Why are you doing this to her? <laughs> You're the one who's making me do it. I'm not making you do any of this. You're the one who's shoving her I'm just doorstep. telling you what's happening when you're doing this to her. <laughs> 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 I say, do you remember now? Nagini was never a woman. <laughs> she gargles. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I guess I did my job as best I could, but she's still not listening, so she's a lost cause. You start turning to other people going, can you believe this woman? <laughs> she's not listening. She turned the snake into a lady, come on! I push her out the door, slam it on her ass, and it makes her fly across the road and land in a garbage can. <laughs> then that song played. <laughs> <laughs> then it says, Oni defeated J.K. Rowling. You got $90 for winning. 